talking about. grab myself a soda. DCS here, but it's, uh, it's not having it. Let me, uh, let me restart it. Yeah, 66 out of notes. Yet. I don't know if anyone's there or not. Gonna do some, uh, some fire up by the end. I think we're still, yeah, pretty gloomy weather, so we're gonna fit some rockets instead. Welcome back. Copy. That's interesting. According to the server, Evan, if you take off from the carrier and land at the airfield, it causes some serial lags. How are the music? How's, the, how's the, is the music too loud? Is the game too quiet? Is the, my my vocals are they too loud? How uh, how are we sound? It kind of messed with the the knobs and the levers a little bit. I want to make sure I didn't uh, mess anything up. Radio's 
going Am I too quiet? Am I too loud? Is the music too quiet? Is the music too loud? That's just things I want to know. Refueling complete. So I know the weather's pretty shit out right now. Like, it looks blue, but it's not. It's pretty shit out. Cage that we can start up the right engine. And a bit. Wait until our boom stuff's put on. You know, and some rocket pods. Because of the, uh, the weather. Alright, so I'll load all for that to be done loading. TV show Scrubs with my wife. Uh, we watch a we try to watch a TV show at dinner. And spend a little extra time with each other, what have you. It's pretty funny. We just started season two, I think. I've never seen it before. So let's go to the profile. Let's go to CB97, CCRP, save that. Let's go Mark 82. So let's keep those in CCIP for now. Um, sure, why not? Rockets, we're gonna do ripple pairs. And a ripple quantity of seven, because that is a full rocket pod. And a calculated impact point. Alright, and yeah, we're good there. Uh, targeting pod, we can turn that on there. Engines are on, so we can turn that on. Da, 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 da. the world volume that was annoying uh, when you go to an exterior view and it was just engines would scream at you all right so we're all loaded in let's go ahead and take off trim I always forget to do that so and still waiting on alignment but I think Start from this side. Sochi traffic, uh, Hornet 2 ship taking runway 06, Sochi. This side. This is the radios. Alright, yeah, we've got everything on. The only thing we're waiting on is alignment. Sweet. How's your nightmare, Ghost? Safety off and fire the gun. LOL. Oh, okay, that's Sam Sands. Oh, yeah, heavy storms. Where, uh, what part of the country or the world are you from, my friend? good weather in a minute. Midwest? Okay. Alright. Yeah, you guys get some serious weather out there. Yeah. There. I don't think I've been in anything too crazy, really. Um, I grew up in Utah, so uh, when I was growing up, they had, a, they had a tornado in Utah Valley. It made a lot of news. I remember as a kid, I was outside during that weather flying paper bag kites that me and my brothers had made. Just enjoyed it. Sochi traffic with A10C taxi to runway 244 straight out departure. Spent a little bit of my life turn off my fucking steering for some reason. 
spent a little bit of my life uh, in Illinois, uh, a little place called Alton, Illinois. Early, early on, I was I was knee high to a B. Uh, father went to dental school out there, and uh, that's where we lived for a little bit. I don't really remember too much. I do remember it hailing so hard that it, it, it shattered the uh, my dad's windshield. He had a Volkswagen Bug as his daily driver. <laughs> and, uh, it was like golf ball size hail or something like that. He's got pictures of it. A little brown beetle and shattered windshields. The insurance company wouldn't cover it or something like that. So he was pretty pissed. You know, a dental school student paying his own way out of pocket. It's an interesting life. Let's double check the F10 map before we enter the runway to make sure that we're not cutting anybody off or stepping on any toes. Alright, so it looks like, okay, these guys just left. Where's this guy doing? He's still up high. He's still up high. All right, I think we're going to, uh, we're going to take the active and take off. So to traffic, myth A10C, taking runway 24 for straight out departure. Flaps full. So on board, we have full throttle, point nose down the runway. On board, we've got six dumb Mark 82s, dumb bombs, 500 pounders, uh, and then four sets of triple uh, rocket pods, the M151s. So that's uh, 21, 42, 84, and then looks like three CBU 97s. 84 rockets. I'm going to be firing those in volleys of seven ripple pairs. Landing gear up, flaps to 10%. Point the nose down to get some more speed. Trim, 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 trim. Let's let's see what's first. Let's check the time. Let's check the time on the server. Oop, that didn't work. Oh, hour and 47 minutes before the server itself restarts. So I've turned up too much, so it's trim, 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 trim. Okay, so I think we can get to a target easy, no problem. All right, Intel. So we have the easy target, which is waypoint 3. We got waypoint 6, waypoint 11, which is the hard, and waypoint 23, which is the normal. And then we have the Kutasi strike mission. Um, well, because the weather's pretty shit, I, uh... I think we're going to go to one of these, either waypoint 3 or waypoint 6. Waypoint 3 is 100 miles, waypoint 6 is 81. Waypoint 6 it is! That's nasty weather. So to traffic, myth A10C, clear of runway 24, rolling 254. Air to air. 252. Okay. Pull up! Pull up! I know! Oh, yeah. We can tell her to shut up at certain altitudes. That works. So now, if I get below 50 feet above ground level, um, she'll yell at me. I don't like when she yells at me. She'll probably still yell at me. Right. Climbing through the clouds. Uh, let's pitch down a smidgel to five degrees. Let our engines power us through these. Uh, let's do this climb here. All right, so da 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 da. Go clicky clicky. And we're going to. Was it six? Yeah, it was six. With my six. I hope that's above the cloud level. We're gonna see. Four thousand six. I think this is gonna be right in the soup. Mm. Waypoint 3 was the other one right there. That's a little bit better. Yeah, we'll go to waypoint 3. It's because it's... There's going to be like a 2,000 foot gap between the um, ceiling on the floor versus target 6, which is... You know, we, we're, we're, we're blowing targets up looking at this view right here. You know, nothing but clouds. Ready. Extreme flyby. 
turn the world volume down. So that way we don't get our ears exploding on. So we've got some boom booms. We got a couple of, you know, like I said, we've got what is that? Three CV97s, six, no, 12 rocket pods, and uh, six gun bombs. So a nice little, uh, little chunk of airplane. I'm being spiked by MiG-29s. All right. All right. All right. See, I'm going towards this. Check. Uh, that's two, three. Oh, bollocks. That's waypoint three. That's in the soup. That should be good. Yeah, waypoint three is definitely where we're going. Jesus should forgive him. Bad Jesus. <laughs> Two by four, this is Smith, A Tennessee, checking in on the way to waypoint three for close air support. Heard something about them going to be redoing the clouds. A lot of people aren't very happy with the uh, the clouds. That music's really loud in my ears. I'm turn that down to a smidge, just a smidge. All right. Well, um, we got Migs. SU-23s or MiG-29s. One, two, three, four, five of them up in the air. Who knows if some of those are friendly. I don't think they are. Oh yeah, no, we got one, two, th Okay, so yeah, we have some. SU-33s would show up as 29 on the uh, RWR. And we just got all these, you know, a couple of guys chilling on the carrier Pappy, he's been on for a little bit probably let's check the scores real quick let's see who's been doing work okay this guy's died a lot Sam 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 my bro what's going on you're making me look good stop it Team killer. Sam Sam, killed friendly unit, Chippy 5-2, Moose. Okay. Now that makes a lot of sense. And above that, Samurai, hit friendly, Chippy 5-2, Moose. What, is, what, what did that guy do to deserve it? I've heard this music on uh, Draw with Jazza. Just Jazza now, he changed his YouTube channel name. Artist works various uh, different medias, you know, either digital or watercolor or clay or pen, all of it. Very talented guy. All right, well, I've got an F-18 friendly off my right wing, and I don't have the ERWS or whatever. Oh, he's way out there. And I have a feeling that these uh, MIGs are coming to me. Let's see if I can't just roll. I think it's 6-4. 266. Two, two, six, six. Pull up. Two, six, pull up. Six. Alright, so yeah, that, that, that guy is at 288. It's uh, over that way for 50 miles. 
Is that gonna do anything, turning on my jammer while I'm getting nailed like that? Pull up! Pull up! Dodge two, one. Pull up! Pull up! One zero zero four thirty at thirteen thousand flanking. Dodge two one. Focus. Bra two D three four fifty at eighteen thousand flanking. Pull up! Pull up! Dodge two one. Focus. Bra one zero five four thirty at eighteen thousand. Pull up! Pull up! All right, well, somebody told me he was Focus, squid, bra, two, seven, said, uh, just turn into him. So, I'm gonna, there they are. I'm pretty sure that's them. That looks like a missile. Pull up, pull up. Today, I really don't want to get shot down. Pull up, Thirty pull minutes up. into my stream, but the AI, where you at? Come at me! Come at me! A10 is not built for air-to-air -air combat. I've got two AM9s. Yep. So he's at 152. This is off my right lane. 22 miles. That guy's 272. Stay in the canyons. So he's going to be up that way. So you might see me in this little gap here. So the RWR says. Slowly but surely, I'm learning how to uh, evade, if you want to call that what I'm doing right now. I'm running. I'm running. Little 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 piddle of poo behind me. I don't wanna. That's the Ewax or the JTAC or whatever the Dodge Predator drone. Focus, bra, two five zero four fifty at ten thousand flanking. A little bit of lag. Hopefully, I can pop up, up this Pull way up. and maybe be behind them. I mean, my objective is this way. Pull up! Pull up! I don't see anything behind me. I don't know if this is a good idea. I hope I don't stall out. Pull up! 
Sam side off our left wing. Pull up, pull up. For reason. Pull up, pull up. 60 miles to target. <clears throat> pull up, pull up. Now, I mean, I could be just entirely oblivious or clueless to these guys and they could just be like lining up for gun runs and I would have no no clue yeah see no oh, nope that again fucking predator drone muting my mic for one second I gotta take my medicine Mavericks, no targeting pods. All right. Let's go to TAD. What do we got? Any friendly hits? No waypoints right in front of us. For the behind us, might be. I'm not getting pinged by those MIGs anymore, so either I snuck by them and yay, or they went and engaged somebody else and got shot down by a friendly, which is probably really what happened. They were like laughing at me, struggling in the canyons, going, <laughs> let this little scrub live today. One, two, four, this is Smith checking in. Oscar Mike to waypoint three, currently 45 miles to target. ETA, 15 minutes. That was on uh, frequency one, two, four, which is the air to ground. We're gonna go ahead and do CCIP. We're gonna go ahead and do. Yeah, okay. Do, 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 do. This music reminds me of those uh, those vid YouTube videos of um, they'll be like satisfying things, and it's just like Play-Doh spinning or like, eggs getting cooked or <laughs> I don't know, just the, you know, the random oddly satisfying you know stuff, and it's just this kind of general. Well, I mean, it's the, uh, it's the copyright free, whatever you want to call it, so I, I won't get my shit muted on uh, Twitch or uh, YouTube, hopefully. That's the, uh, that's the goal here. So that way everybody can listen to my rambling. Go combat mode. Who speaks there? Oh, no. An F5. Nemesis. F5s are supposed to be like uh, the easy mode air-to-air -air targets, but I've been shot by that, down by them, by like like five, five or six times. I have managed to kill a couple. A couple. Anyone know why this is your purpose goes high wire randomly? No, I don't. So yeah, Ghost, I, uh, I'm, I'm in Southern California, so it's uh, it's sunny and 70 for me uh, pretty much all day, every day, most of the year. Very rarely we get anything that's uh, what could be considered bad weather, and even then it's really just heavy rains for a couple few days. That's about it. <laughs> People lose their minds. 
But uh, I mean, it's almost it almost gets like flash flood conditions where you'll have you know eight eight to twelve inches of water running through some streets and not you know more some other places. It's kind of a drier area out here, so getting a bunch of rain dumped on it at once is uh, could be dangerous. Ground gets all settled. I'm not trying to say that the weather out in the other Kansas City area is you know crazy and killing everyone every day but sure as that shit ain't doing that out here in <laughs> California you know what I'm saying let's get some external views so the skin I'm using is the 66 I think yeah weapons uh say the yeah, 66 weapons out of Nellis um I might be saying all along, and I got a picture on my desktop that shows uh, aircraft number 200, and so and it was shooting a bunch of rockets. I just I'm kind of semi kind of recreating that, but no real uh, necessary need. I want to see what that does. Ah, now you can see those lights. Okay, so. I don't want those all the way up. I want them at like. No, nope, they need more than that. And it is daytime, so. Yeah, sure, why not? So we'll call that. That's 75%. Oh, F5. F5, F5. Tom Cruise up here, 8,000 feet. Just an enemy jet flying around here somewhere, lo locking me and shit. That was a server thing. Don't, I don't know. I mean, is there one like, is, it, is he doing, you know, the whole international relationship thing, the top, top Gun, right, is he, uh, no idea where he went, what is that? Well, that's not a jet, it's like the peak of a mountain. I'm just going to explode, I swear. I mean, somebody's probably pulling their hair out going, It's right there! You see it! It's right there! I, I, I don't. <laughs> oh, we're 18 miles to target. So you can actually shoot rockets in CCRP. And that number there is um, the degrees that you want to pitch, I think. So if I wanted to hit that target area, I would have to pitch up to 27, I want to say, 28. And it, I think it has to be the rocket thing, so. We'll see what happens. We'll follow those in. I probably just killed some poor farmers, like sheep or whatever. And some speed up. I mean, it is 12 miles away, so. <laughs> uh, we weren't supposed to do that. Get our speed back. 
Oh, not that path hole. Up there. And F6, 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 F6. Yeah, here they are. So that red smoke up there is the target area. We're going to fall a little short. Oh, but jeez. Warning, autopilot. Found the F5. going in the soup. I don't want to go to the soup. There you were. Oh, I got you now, you fucker. You want to shoot at me? Ah, splash one F5. Got you, bitch. <laughs> Oh, wow. I did it. There's another air-to-air -air kill of the uh, A-10. Eat a dick. That's right. That's right. I did it. Splash. Yeah, don't get into these clouds. Eee! I got another. He's got a friend. He's coming to avenge his friend. I only have two of these. Come on. Where you at? Meanwhile, the target area is all over there. Watching this, I don't even want to call this an epic air fight. This is just them shooting fish in a barrel. Watch these MIGs come in and just eat me alive. See, I told you they were around here. I don't know what's going on with the uh, early warning radar system, the EWRS. Normally, there's a little thing at the top right of the screen that says uh, gives you a uh, uh, an ad rack, you know, and an alert, a direction, a distance, and a uh, bearing heading the whole nine yards and uh, oh, anyways so going to these rocket pods fuckers pitch down all right f5 off my right wing oh, i'm gonna have to highlight that we're, what, 40 minutes into the stream? Yes. Oh, we're doing it. Different reticle. Pull up, and pull up. Shit. How do I change my reticle for my guns? I don't. Oh, there it is. Some, well, you know, we got some. Uh, we got some targets down there. That's how you pick up. CRP, I just see we're in a 797. This F5, that F5's way, way, way all the way out that way. So, 
We're gonna climb, we're gonna come back around. I think this is the same target area we were bombing earlier. Let's, uh, let's see if all of those rockets were worth anything. By hitting the score tab. And, hey, I got that air kill. Um, but no targets. He's back that way. That F5. Dropping these ripple singles, and I want more distance than that. Profile, view profile, I want a thousand feet. It didn't work. Clear, one, one, two, three. It won't let me do a thousand feet, but it'll let me do 500 feet. There's an F5. Hey, buddy! Found him! We found him! Keep him eyes on. Eyes on, eyes on. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. Yeah, yeah, you better pop. Better pop flares and stuff. No. Oh, he's gonna dodge that. I think I'll hit him. Why am I not? Oh, because I'm pitched up. I'm going so slow. Two five four. This is Smith over waypoint three. I am currently engaged with an F five, uh, requesting immediate assistance. Where's he going? You just showing off? That's that's totally the uh, AI, by the way. That's an enemy uh, AI air-to-air -air asset. Maybe I'll hit him. What's he trying to do? Help me, Tom Cruise. I don't know what to do. I don't have any more AIM-9s. I fired the last one right as he launched a flare like a dum-dum. So it tracked that. Oh, shit, I lost him. Shit. And he's... Any station 254, this is Myth over waypoint 3 requesting immediate cap. I am currently engaged with an F5. I am Winchester on air-to-air. -air. I lost him, I have no fucking clue where he went. There's, they're like a little itty bitty black speck, and I swear there's like a little dust, a little bit of dust on my screen. I'm like, there he is! Nope, that's, that's dust. It's dirt, I gotta clean my monitors. I'm on my ass. That way. Come on. Where's your exhaust trail?
Hey, Marines first, mission always, good to go. I think his missile's dry as well. didn't get a bailout either. And I hope you crash. No, he's got... It. This is a really weird out of, like, I'm extending my head past my body. But that's not a view I'm supposed to have. <laughs> Alright, well. Hey! A Ted is not meant for air to air, but I shot a missile at him. There he goes. Stupid F5. Getting slowly but surely getting a little bit better at dealing with air to air. But when I'm up here all by myself. Oh, I got one guy here. Looks like I had another. Oh, yeah, Sam Sam. But we know all about Sam Sam. Look how great Sam Sam's doing. Let's see. Let's, let's look at Sam Sam. That's Sam Sam. Alright, so let's. Uh, how you doing today, Sam Sam? You've died eight times. Alright. I keep seeing his name pop up too about team killing, so. So, I rather have these bad dudes. The bearing reference to me or. Okay, well, he's still learning. I can't hate on him for learning. sarcasm well I'm not gonna ride this all the way down I don't want to waste your time so we're going to select roll and we're going to go into a different a10 yeah and we are going to start again um, I don't know I don't know what we should do. We'll start up. How's that? Start with that. Sorry, the uh, mess of fly. Really? I flew all this way. Poor Nova Tech. He got kicked from or moved to spectators for some reason. Oh, that's why. I don't know what that means. It means use the fucking runway guy. Can't always just plead ignorance. Come on, you're at an airport. There's a really big thing in the middle that everybody knows where the airplanes go. Use it. Yeah, but this is combat. That's, uh, uh, you know, you gotta get up now. No. 
no, I was in the Marine Corps for eight years. Trust me. There even that. St I would literally have my battalion sergeant one, two, major. One two four the one radio check. One two four the SOG one, one radio check. One two four five by five. I would have my battalion sergeant major sitting there waiting at the gate that we would, you know, after he would do the little serpentine and enter the wire, he would be sitting there waiting for us to see who needed to shave. Yeah. It was. Alright. One, two, four, five, one, Raider. Copy. Air. heat. Thing. before we load. Kartasi strike mission it is. Shocking gash. All right. Well, uh, I will be right back. Two seconds. Gotta wait a second. It's a nice little, little view of me in the hangar. Reviewing complete. Still getting boomsticks. More boomsticks. Yeah. Rearming complete. Okay. Click. It would be really cool to get uh, the MFD um, Huya things with some screens behind them to put this stuff so you can kind of early. And uh, that would be awesome. One day. Be able to not have to use my mouse to click this stuff seen some guys uh, have their um, they post their pictures of their, their sim cockpits up on uh, on the reddit forums and what have you and there are some beautiful setups man I'll tell you what it's like they sawed off the front half of a jet and just stuck it in their room Traffic, Methay 10 c taxi on a runway, 244 takeoff. The 
That's another song that I've heard elsewhere. <laughs> so that was the thing I was talking about, the EWRS. Like, I don't know why that wasn't popping up, the thing that's on the top right. It has the early warning radar thing, radar system. Uh, and it tells you the bearing from your aircraft to the enemy, the range from your aircraft to the enemy, the altitude of that enemy aircraft, the speed of that enemy aircraft, and the heading of that enemy aircraft. So where it is from, you know, where it is from you, how far it is from you, and what direction he is going. That's the heading. Let's see somebody taking off. Let's see somebody taking off. From a runway, yay. Alright. We're good to take 2 4. So, to traffic method 10 C, taking runway 2 4 for takeoff. Flaps down. <clears throat> Get out of the runway. Throttle forward. Now, we're going to Katasi Strike Mission, yeah, I believe. So, staring off. Let's go to KTS. Waypoint 26, I think. Yep. Rotate at 135. Turn left base. Go ahead and pull up gear. And pull up flaps. So, to traffic, Myth A10C wheels up, runway 2 forward. Uh, climbing to 500, then departing southeast along the coast. So, to traffic, Myth A10C, clear of runway 24, rolling 254. Two 254, Myth A10C, checking in. Pull up, pull up. Altitude, altitude. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Altitude, altitude. Okay, so what we're gonna do is shut her up. We're gonna do the altitude alert. Click. And it says 500 feet above ground level. And okay, we're gonna change that to like a hundo. I right, just press enter. Boom. There's some other alerts. Uh, MSL, right? Mean sea level. Mean sea level. And the uh, mean, sea mean sea level ceiling. Like, if you didn't want to go above 3,000 feet. Above 3,000 feet. And you wanted to stay between 500 and 3,000 feet. They'll, uh, she'll let you know. She'll yell altitude at you. Well, let's look at the CDU. Let's, uh, function hack. Indicated airspeed. Uh, TAS. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that one means. And then ground speed. Point two three, huh? Where should we point two three? Seventy miles behind us. All right. Well, we have some Mavericks, and we have these uh, Mark eighty two air bombs. Pull up! Pull up! Yeah. Bit. Pull up! Pull up! So that noise is the uh, the radar ticking back and forth over my airplane, going, "Hey, hey, there's something there! Hey, hey, hey!" So we got one hour till mission reset. I hope there's a little bit better and more clear air. Good views, you know what I'm saying? Otherwise, it's uh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. What are you? That's probably all these guys at 233, so yeah, back that way. Right on that way. Yeah, that's about right. So that's them up in that area. Locking me up, looking at me and stuff. Oh my jeez. 
Um, that looks really dangerous to try to climb through. So we're gonna do a little bit of loop. And we're gonna try popping up pretty quick. Up to 20. Losing lots of airspeed. Slowly pitching down, slowly pitching down. 15, 10, and we're through the clouds. Okay. Five. Are we on path hold? No. We want path hold for now. Give us a good rate of climb here. Going off what Homeboy said in the chat, he said waypoint two three had some good visibility, so that's uh well, you know, put some faith in, in humans. Some sodas. I like Dr. Pepper, what do you guys like soda wise? Or do you even drink soda? My wife stopped drinking this stuff uh, years ago. Alright, sweet. Yeah. It's fine. <sighs> well, never mind crusty walnuts. I'm going to whip point two six then. You know, it's gonna be like a twenty something minute flight to even get there. Pull up, pull That's up. That's kind of bum. we do all right so we know waypoint three had a couple of targets above the clouds but they were kind of in it waypoint 11 would have stuff under the clouds because it's pretty low this is kind of where we're pointing right now that's got stuff below the clouds that's in the clouds like let's just you can't see anything not conducive to uh, a stream we're still heading towards where are we heading towards no waypoint in particular just this way okay warning autopilot so yeah we're going to toss it Six mark eighty two airs. And I'm already being locked. See look at this. They were they were eighty miles out. Now they're sixty. I don't know if that's gonna do anything. Does it? Turning on the jammer? It gets annoying after a while that they're locking me up so far out that I can't do anything about it. Like, I've got this missile, right? These two M9s that'll uh, have like a three mile engagement range. So, do I just go evasive or what should I do? Let's see. You know what? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look on the map. Right. Well, maybe I should have faith in my fellow man, right? They've got a bunch of missiles shooting around. Raven? Fox one. These guys are all high speed refueling and stuff. I can't do that yet. I tried. That would be my that would be my gas truck. We're going to potassium. Now for a badass flyby.
All right. Let's go ahead and turn these lights off because uh, we don't want the enemy aircraft to see us very easily or the enemy round things, right? Still climbing through uh, eight and a half thousand feet on our way to Waypoint 26, which is the Kutasi Deep Strike mission. It's 113 miles away. Current ground speed is 300 miles per hour, so that means we're going about five miles a minute. That is uh, an SU-29 or an SU-30. One of these guys locking me up in that direction. They are 50 miles away. I'm not too worried about them now. Um, all of that stuff. Let's use to separate that. That is the Kutasi strike mission. Yeah. Lots and lots and lots of uh, radar and SAM sites to, uh, to blow up. Um, to blow up those things, we've got four AGM-65 Deltas and six Mark 82 Airs. Those are the 500-pound uh, bombs with the parachutes on the back. So that way, cheese and rice. Just, just, this is why we're here. Um, you know what I am going to do, because they are behind that way. An easy way for me to just make that noise go away, but not turning it down. But, you know, this radar's laying of sight, man, so... Uh, granted, they are pretty high up in the air. I'm just going to get down a little bit, try to hide behind these mountains. Oh, let's see. Pull up, pull up. Pull up, pull up. I am. You don't worry about me, girl. Pull up, pull up. So, once we get down to a point where. Pull up, pull up. We got mountains blocking uh, in between me and them. Oof, lag. Pull up, pull up. We should. Not have anything on the RWR except for a friendly F 14. That is uh, until we pop back up over the mountains. Pull up, pull up. A little bit of lag while I was doing that. Alright, now this is where we gotta be careful. Because we're at an area where the fog. Where am I? Yeah. So I am basically going this direction. This is all hilly along this line. That's not hilly anymore. So probably the best thing to do is just to jet south a little bit. Yeah. We're gonna turn right. So bearing 180. That is south. Boop 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 locking me from that way, or just pinging me rather via radar. The U's are unknowns. They could be a few, list a few things. I have no idea. The little half dome over the U is the most recent target. The diamond around the symbol is the most important target. Um, or what it deems the biggest threat is, I think. Uh, that little chevron above the M2, it means that it's an airborne contact. Pretty cool. So we got a nice thick layer of clouds today. Um, and then a thick layer of fog underneath the clouds. So we've got like a 2,000 foot window of visibility. Um, that's why we're going for this target we 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 all the way out here is because it's got some visibility all the other targets are up in the mountains where the cloud level is like on top of the target so you can't you can't penetrate the uh, you can't penetrate the um, the target the cloud layer with your cameras and your sensors right so you're looking you're looking you're like ah, yeah no I can see stuff totally you know, oh, what, what, what if we go white hot, right? White hot, no. You can see some water reflecting, some 
So it's a trees, but you can't really see any targets, right? Go back to CCD. What about Black Hot? No, I don't have CCD. Sorry. Make uh, HUD Soy again. Double check our map. We're almost over the ocean, so let's go ahead and descend below the clouds. I uh, slaved my target pod to my center point of interest, which was my HUD. And now my camera's on my targeting pod are looking at Kutasi, 87 miles away. Descending through the fog with a little lag. Ugh. Trust on your instruments. second. There it is. Right. And that's why we wanted to go south before we did that. So now at this level we really could see plenty of targets. Um, and when I say plenty, I mean good enough, I guess. But, uh, you know, you're also Pull still up. relatively Pull low up. to the ground, so we'll level out at like 2.5k. Why not? Uh, trim, 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 trim. Let's set the out, out and heading, turn that on and off, and now we are going straight, 320 miles per hour because it's our ground speed, 325, 324, so we're slowing down a little bit because we just came out of a dive. Um, so 80 miles away, every 10 minutes, it's, or every 10 miles it's 2 minutes, to uh, 16 minutes till we're on the target. But we'll probably see stuff. A little bit sooner than that. Now let's go ahead and make this look at our Mavericks. Turn off our master. We'll arm all of our stuff, our laser, master, and a gun. Alright. Now that we've got that, we can click that, click that, see some RP and got Mavericks. Now that is no longer our sensor, that is the Maverick itself, the missile. We're gonna dampen down. Two. We're going to dampen down our slew to two because I uh, I don't have like a, a, a little joystick like the real Hotas <clears throat> excuse me, the real Hotas has. Instead, I use basically this thing on my um, my joystick to move the uh, the sensors up, down, left, and right. It's so bad. It is so bad, but uh, you know it works for me. I'm used. I'm getting used to it. It looks like we're putting some distance in between us and those, uh, those aircraft, so I'm happy with that. Here we go! A-10's not really a air-to-air uh, -air beast, you know what I'm saying? But now that we're on, uh, <coughs> excuse me, we're below the clouds, I'll show you what the camera looks like. Now here, here's the issue that we're running into below the clouds is we've got this thick fog layer that is really hard to see through. So that's your CCD camera looking down. Like I'm looking at the ground right now, right? And then let's look at the black hot. And let's turn the gain. Let's mess with the gain. So like we can see smoke signals or the chimneys, right? We're not really looking at a target right now, but Go to white hot. It's a little bit better, you know, looking at stuff, but it's not ideal at all. It's really, really tough and difficult to see stuff right now. So let's uh, slave that back to our checkpoint or waypoint up there. Still 66 miles, so we're not really going to be able to see anything for a little while. Let's go over our weapons profiles real quick. I think we're going um, CCRP with those. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. And we're gonna drop those in pairs. Uh, 
And then these are AMG 6 AGM 65 Delta. Let's, let's look at our TAD. Now the guy behind us, who's that? Chippy 5-2, Moose. Okay. All right. We'll hook up to you. We'll hook up to you, buddy. I got you. 266 I am sending a text message via A10 Boop to Moose back there behind me <laughs> That's pretty cool okay, uh, I lost my music I got my music back, okay One, two, four, myth checking in. Oscar Mike to Kutasi Deep Strike Mission Waypoint 26. Currently 55 miles to target, 45 to engagement area. We don't want to be like on top of the target. Sorry, uh, last calling station. Be advised two active S3 or uh, SA3s and at least one active SA6. I'll copy over. Beautiful. Plenty of targets. Roger, uh, it's Hornet 410 presently conducting seed. Roger, I'll keep an eye out for them. I've got four Mavericks, and uh, they're hungry. Welcome. If I can find them, right? I know they get super annoying super quick. What do we got back there? Ah, uh, just a bunch of friendly stuff. And then that guy. Uh, no, 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 F-18, F-18. 50 miles. And we just chill, right? Just uh, in a transit, right? Just grooving with the music. Rolling with the music. Sorry. Probably making you guys sick. Let me pause track higher on then dance. Encourage your friendly buddies, right? What are we sitting at? Hey! Bombs I've dropped have killed four things! And we did get one air to air kill. Got that. It's gonna be a highlight. I can't wait. Finally get a show me killing something in the air with the Warthog and not just bitch about dying to air targets. pretty close here to uh, 40 miles under 40 miles now so theoretically 
So we can see the smoke, but here's the problem with this this fog. Down low. Can't see. Fuck all. Oh. Let's mess with the gain. Like, at this point, I should be able to start seeing, you know, uh, I can start differentiating Shilkas to battle tanks, the, you know, the radars and the sand watchers, but this is, uh, it's going to be a toughie. Let's try the uh, CCD camera. No, what about Black Hot? That's the gains. Right. No, I don't like it. Let's go back to four. Huh? Yeah. Let's make that go home. Go home. Yeah, so we're looking at the objective area, right? But because this uh this layer of fog, that dirty air, whatever you want to call that. I need to check one, two, four. We got like this little sliver of clear air. Bye bye. So that's gonna make target acquisition fun. We got anything on there? Yeah. One, two, four. This is Myth A10C Oscar Mike to Waypoint 26, 30 miles inbound. Uh, be advised, we got about a 2,000 foot window of clear air. Uh, we've got fog down on the deck and uh, a ceiling of about 4,000. Roger, copy leather. 15 miles behind you, A10, same. Last calling station, Hornet 410, call sign Samurai 1, off station at the moment. Grounding, refueling, and then heading back up on the seat. Roger that Samurai 1, this is Myth, uh, 8th sign here. I'll, uh, I'll try to get it close, see what I can't do about taking on any kind of radio antennas. Um, no promises, no guarantees, but all fun, right? Roger, I copy all. Uh, be advised, our targeting pods are not going to be see, be able to see very much until we get a lot closer. I'm 26 miles and I still see nothing. Yeah. Yeah, update on that. You're, you're sealing your maximum, or your minimum is going to be about 3,000 feet. Uh, 3,000 to, what, 8,000, I believe. Deck fog layer, useless targeting pod. Gonna have to use Mark 1 eyeball. Say, uh, 10 4 on all of that. Miss brought, uh, Mark 82 airs and, uh, 4 mavs. See what I can't do with that. So, let's, uh, look real quick at the DSMS. Let's look at our. And then, actually, no, I'm going to go to the profile. I'm curious, what's the height of function on these? Like, how far above the deck do I want to be? Set a minimum altitude. I think 500 feet. That's really high. Okay, so I think about 300 feet above the deck, and we'll get a, a no-go code. Um, and I, I, I tried these on CCIP, trying to drop them. See, what we'll do is, uh, keep forgetting I can do it like this. Let's pick them up. So, if I were to change this to CCRP or CCIP. Continuously calculate. I got a message. Yeah, we got a text message to each other. We did it. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah, multi-million dollar phone. Um, all right, so we should be able to see. So, like, I'm curious, like, how close to the ground I'm at. I'm super low, right? Like I'm 800 feet above the deck. I can't see. There it is. Oh wow. Yeah, no, we gotta be like super shallow. Okay, okay. We're going 330 right now, and that's like right there. Interesting. That should make for some fun, um, 
fun bombing. Okay, I'll try it. I'll try it, CCF. I'll do it your way. I'll do it your way, game. Touche, Gypsy. Touche. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, I'm 10 miles to target. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, that's probably going to like a tree. Pull up, pull up. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and just change this to, uh, to that, because that's what we got. That's what we got. Pull up, pull up. Altitude, altitude. So I'm just above the minimum height of this bomb. I think and it says it's gonna hit like if I were to drop it it's gonna hit right there right in front of me it's kind of nice but will it really I dropped some bombs. I don't think I hit anything. Oh, man. I'm sorry, guys. That was a waste of your time. Look at this guy, though. What does he got? 921 on the downwind for runway 33. You got it. Rocket pod. Two dumb bombs. Probably doing it smart. See how much time's left on the server. Real quick. Yeah, half an hour. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Who wants to see me fly? Here? All right, controls, controls, controls. First, we need to get rid of the pilot so I can see things. Clicky, clicky, click, oh, oh, click. Go up here, click. No, nope. well, that a normal battery on that. Cover, power, turn that to main. That needs to be that, that needs to be that. Radar altimeter. Turn up the throttle all the way. You can shush. And then press and hold home to start. We're gonna test this. Do that to get rid of that. I think it's right, left control C. No, it's right control C. Close the door. I want to turn on lights. It could. So like, we want a green light in here. Pedo heat on. Go uh, flashing or steady. Flash or whatever, right? Get the collision light, the little red beacon, let everybody know we're starting. Uh, cargo stiffs. 
Continue to hold home until I think that. Goes to 30. Are you going up? No, I'm forgetting something. Up here. Main. Uh, start generator. That's what I'm forgetting. <laughs> Motor. There we go. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Should have told me. Yes. She's alive. She's alive. I did it! I brought the power! Yep, that's it. Oh yeah, and then uh, that last thing is to scooch that up. And now we have a... Uh, uh, radar right cylinder. Pads. Let's take off. Whee! Oh god. Red Beacon Tower things. But you could set up a pretty legit like racing circuit through there. At a certain extent, as they uh, once they hit a certain area, they start kind of shuddering, like like the opposite of a dead zone. You know, like a dead zone in the middle of your joystick, but this is like dead zones in the uh, on the edges or closer to the edge, like right in the middle of the curve. So, like right now, I'm, I'm pushing pretty hard, right? You know, to uh, counteract this. Uh, slowing down and decelerating and transitioning into hover right that's the one where this is the one where everybody gets caught up in vortex ring state they get a dirty air i am no expert by any means i just dabble Started to fall a little bit right there, so, but we're good now. Request Caesar. We did it. I like the Huey. It's fun. Um, I'm not. I'm just kind of disappointed that there's so little to do with it. Like you, you, there's the two campaigns that I know of, right? The Argo and the I don't know, the, the stock campaign you get with the uh, the Huey. Um, it's I, I just felt it was underwhelming um, and I like to do a lot of multiplayer stuff just because I'd rather play with other people to achieve you know the similar similar goals that's why I like the server right through the inferno it's a PVE uh, 
you know, everybody's working together to achieve a relatively similar goal of either killing these aircraft that are flying around or, you know, hitting the uh, air to ground normal or air to ground easy or air to ground hard or, you know, let's go take Kutasi or whatever the, whatever the case is. I really want to check out these things. Let's not be dumb. Let's fly over the wires. How many times in Arma 3 have you, or you're, you know, playing King of the Hill, have I died to some jackass helicopter pilot trying to be, you know, trying to be spiffy, trying to fly a subterranean flight path that just crashes and it just wastes five minutes of my life? Oh, God, it's so frustrating when that happens. And it's funny because I'll, I'll, I'll play, these, I'll play uh, Arma 3. And sit there and fly the little little bird things around, and then I'll jump onto DCS thing, and I can do some of the same stuff. Be like, oh yeah, I'll yank and bank, and it's hard. You yeah, had no, that doesn't happen. <laughs> now DCS slaps you in the face with that shit. All these towers. I wonder what these what these towers are for. Make oil. Probably flying over like a mission area. Yeah, it looks like oil. I see the little grasshopper looking things, or whatever you call those uh, oil pumps. I, I used to see them all the time as a kid on road trips. We'd go to like uh, Grand Canyon or um, Yellowstone, you know, driving all around through all the four corners. Because like, it's like a group of Utah know, foothills of the Rockies, man. Beautiful area. Request Caesar. <laughs> Excuse me. I really need to set up a, a easy push to mute button on uh, OBS so that way I can you know, clear my throat without offending anybody. So yeah, look at the oil fields I guess uh, up here. Nice. Well, I'm just derping around on the, uh, the Huey. The server's going to reset in less than half an hour. Um, so, in my opinion, there's no point in getting into, a, into an A-10 the 5 minutes or so to start, and then the 20 minutes or so to get to a target area. By the time you get there, you might get to shoot one or two rounds, or get shot down, in my case. <laughs> um, yeah, anyways. There it is. Alright, so that, that was my autopilot button. Let me uh, pull up the map. Find me. Cha cha. Okay. We got a farp, and that is one, two, six. So this is pretty cool here. I like this in the Huey. Right? So I can tune to. Oh gosh. It's not a VH. Is it one, two, six? Oh no. Yeah. So that's probably just the radio freak they're operating on. Yeah, there's no balls. So the way the Sea Star missions work, it's off to my right. The way the Sea Star missions works, the combat search and rescue missions, that's where we need to land, um, is the uh, when, a, when, when a pilot like me gets shot down a lot and they eject, or they manage to eject instead of die. Um, what happens is their pilot now will show up on the map as like an infantry and then I can tune my my radio right there um, my ADF I think it's the uh, I don't remember what the A stands for this directional finder you know uh, antenna and uh, tune into a certain frequency and basically get a direct straight to you or straight to that uh, pilot um, uh, flight path and then just go pick that pick that pilot up. I love that kind of stuff. Right, slow her down, slow her down, slow her down. Add a little bit of throttle, a little bit more collective. More left. So this is all a little practice game. Alright, we're gonna turn around to the right. Oh god, oh god, and Jabus. Oh god, and Jabus. Clear the pads. 
miss trying to land. Oh, yeah, that broke everyone's back. Ow. That hurt. I want to go home. Let me out. Yeah, that was a really rough landing. Don't judge me. Trying to see if I can't. Yeah, I have uh there it is, that's what I want to do. I'm not clipped into Oh no, there goes my rotor. I'm pretty sure, yep. Yes it was. Uncle Sam's not too happy. I know, I'm, I'm derping around, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not taking this stuff serious. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign out and uh, come back in a little bit when, uh, when the server comes back up. Thanks for tuning in.